Hey, what's up? How you doing? Here I am again, this time with one beautiful, very vintage and old three head, two motor direct drive cassette deck, uh, Yamaha K1000. <laughs> As I understood, this deck is from 1982, which means that is this year 40 years old. This machine is 40 years old. <laughs> and if it was not for a little bit of scratches, some dents, couple of button plastic missing, it would be in great condition, it would be. But we have those scratches you get one dent here i don't know if we if it was a bullet or something <laughs> well yeah it's an old thing i understand but it's really built like a tank you know as i mentioned and they are mentioning sand dust three head two motor direct drive orbit optimum record bias tuning linear em transduction system oh man oh man there was a time when you could buy super ultra high grade extra maximum capacity VHS tape. <laughs> yeah, they have to invent something new for competition. But this time I think it's not for the advertising. It's like, yeah, I got this. Show me what you got. <laughs> um, the Egypt button. You can see how it looks inside. You have a back door light. We're gonna put one of the newer XL2 Maxell tapes inside. Uh, maybe I should, yeah, maybe I should rewind it a little. No, I'm gonna rewind it because I just recorded something on this tape, on this deck. Uh, I was, I wanted to test it. Uh, it was not in working condition, it was an idler, robbery problem. But yeah, I sold that. That was not such a big issue. Um, there are other issues I'm trying, I'm gonna explain it, but right now I'm just gonna try to play it. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 excellent. Excellent sound. Its bass is very, very deep, like like it was on the original recording, and highs are almost there. I mean, I couldn't notice the difference, of course. But yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> uh, there is a hidden bunch of comments here it's a beautiful linear counter you can see it measures the minutes and seconds which is quite nice now I'm gonna switch the side because the other side is not recorded and we can do our test here uh, reset memory we can reset counter uh, very nice kind of flat plate with a uh, four LEDs behind you see plates green fast forward rewind and stop of course there is no light there is a light for recording of course and I think this is a recording mute button there is a large uh, peak meter yeah you can see it goes green then we have like a zero decibel then we have a dolby symbol on three then we have like a special scale for dbx because this deck has dbx so dbx starts from 10 decibel to 18 or so 16 i i cannot see but it's crazy and here what well, it's hidden auto function for stop repeat full memory timer playback and record and the star of the game see the button is orange that bias orbit bias test ah, it's a calibration of course for bias 
and we have noise reduction Dolby NR DBX and True without anything in source and tape button. Of course, recording balance, phone's level and knob, and recording level. Slider. <laughs> so, let's talk about this bias orbit test. It's a kind of weird thing, mm, but yeah, I, I looked at the manual and it's not a weird thing. Basically, you press the button, you will see a test is flashing, record, uh, you go on recording, then you're gonna see something is going on here. Then you need to adjust with this bias knob. So you have two red lines here one and here one. This is not good, like you cannot adjust it. So I was like confused. I was spinning this thing like crazy. And sometimes it would kind of be level, but most of the time I cannot adjust it, you know. And then I decided, okay, I'm gonna record this tape in this mode, like a bias all the way to the right. Let's see how, how it's gonna, what's gonna happen then, you know. And it's recording just fine. I mean, I would put it a little bit on the left. But anyway, the recording is just fine. And then I realized, all right, man, but this tape is like uh, not 40 years old. They advance with technology. You know what I mean? Like uh, Excel 2, like in those days, wouldn't be maybe this good, you know? That would be my opinion. And that's why I have very old tapes. <laughs> I got one very old Maxwell XXL2. It's the same thing, but it's probably 34 years old. Let's see how this one, can it, can it make a bias work on this one? You know. <laughs> All right, oh, Houston, we got something. Ah, oh, nicey, nicey. Now I can get two, two of it to be in the middle. I'm looking for the one line, one dot, one line. I don't want to see anything on the side, that thing that is flashing. You see, now we got some results. You see? You see? So this tape was probably from the same time when they are making adjustment for a bias inside of it. And I guess, you know, they make it work for that tape. Yeah. And then I realized, okay, since I have more old tapes, let's see, can we, what, what is gonna happen if I pull up one of the normal, normal tape, but this one is also newer. You see, it's UD2, I think. It's also newer, probably when this tape is made, this deck was 20 years old. So let's see that. Can we make it work? Yeah. You see? I mean, it's not perfect, but I understand this tape would be on the, in the middle, zero. This tape would be recording like uh, zero. Yeah, I would I would record it like that. Tape source tape, and then the last one is also very old, but this one is probably normal UDXL one normal tape from the type probably when this deck was made this deck what i want to say for for this deck it would be much harder to record those tapes than the newer tapes as soon as you put new tape the you know you're gonna make great recording <laughs> with the newer tapes so let's see this one ah you see now we got our Orbit bias. It go. It's going on the left, and you see, it's much less flashing. You can basically adjust it this time, huh? 
did I? Uh, maybe because the tape is old, you know. If I have this tape old but new, maybe this would be flat. But it's perfectly fine now. Look, look, almost. Maybe if I could just put it a little bit on the right. Maybe I could squeeze it a little bit more. Huh? Huh? Did I? Did I? So this thing is working properly. This bias test is working properly on this deck. I mean, maybe not the best, but it's working, right? Let's see if we can record this tape, what I'm doing. Uh -huh. okay. So what's the problem with this machine? Ah, huge problem. Recording level slider is not working. <laughs> it is a huge problem. Recording balance is working. You see, the balance is working. So, I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, when I put my CD directly connected here or wherever, it will go straight to the, to, till the end, you know, like the, the, the level would be so high that and everything will be in distortion. So basically you can you can't adjust recording level on this because I don't know. Is it a slider not working or something else? I really don't know. This is the major problem here. Uh, so as soon as you hook up anything it's gonna be signal will be straight to the end and then if you try to record something it will be a lot of distortion. That's why I use my computer where I reduce the signal level, you know, to the acceptable. Now it's kind of acceptable, right? It goes around zero. That's what I'm trying to say. Let me check if I can demonstrate. Maybe I can put my computer level on zero. Right now it's like on 20, 25%. Now it's gonna be go zero to see how it looks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin the speakers. <laughs> but you saw what happened, you saw what happened. That's the problem. So if you can fix that, I think this is a great working um, deck. I mean, it's not working. It's probably uh, some other things that you need. To, I mean, it's working. Wow, well, you can play tape, you can record tapes, but you can't. You can't actually record because of the slider. I don't know. It's good looking. <laughs> it's good looking, semi-functional cassette deck. That would be the best. <laughs> How would I explain it? So yeah, you have to 3D print this button. 3D print this button, um, but I was looking, you could probably buy some older, cheap 30 bucks Yamaha and took the buttons from that deck, who knows, but it's a project, it is a project, working project, project in working, project that that is working, whatever, take care, till next time, enjoy.